Do you feel like you're stuck or that you are maybe lacking that motivation, determination, or you stick to a plan for a couple of days, but then you fall off the wagon and lose your motivation? Well, I'm going to throw it out there that likely your biological processes, those are the thoughts of, I'm hungry, I'm sleepy, I'm tired, I'm horny, all these low level types of thoughts throughout your day are likely taking up much more of your brain's ultimate bandwidth and are really undermining your success. And moving forward, we really need to address these in order to break through that low level kind of human consciousness, that reptilian brain, and get into that prefrontal cortex and really that higher level of human consciousness. I'm gonna talk about a couple of the little exercises that I've come up with recently that have helped me get through this low level thinking. And this is something that completely undermined my success and was actually something that is very sneaky and also something that if you don't address it really will prevent you from succeeding. So we are gonna hop right into it. This is going to be a great video. I think it'll be very helpful. And here we go. So one of the things that I have just started doing recently, and it has really helped me out, is kind of actively training my imagination. And this is something where you likely had an incredible imagination when you were a little kid, um, you know, when you were super creative and you know, had all that neuroplasticity going on. But unfortunately, we all as adults kind of um, get super calcified and, and lose a lot of that creative and adventurous process. So what I started doing is every morning when I wake up, I will essentially not do anything. I won't check my phone. I won't uh, go on to YouTube. I won't... Um, you know, read the news, uh, won't do any of that. I will stay in bed, I will stay uh, lying down even with my eyes closed, and I will try to come up with the most elaborate and fantastical story that I can. I will try to come up with amazing characters, and usually I will be the lead character, or the protagonist of my story, but a lot of times I may come up with other characters or different reoccurring characters that I may use. And um, I really encourage you to try doing this. And uh, what will likely happen is you'll find it's very hard. You'll find it, it quite difficult to stay uh, kind of engaged with your imagination. And um, you'll end up finding that you'll start thinking about food, like what am I going to eat, or I need to use the bathroom, and of course if you really have to take a piss or whatever, you know, go do that first, but the, the point of this is that you want to really engage that creative muscle in, in your brain and get out of that reptilian brain, and again, the reptilian brain is what are, what's driving all of your basic biological processes, and throughout human history and uh, any animal's history, right? Your biological processes are there to save your life. They used to be a good thing, but as I always say, they are somewhat outdated and it is 2021. And um, a lot of them are not really there to serve you uh, in, in any way anymore. And it's, again, impossible to completely get rid of them. And I'm not saying that. But give this first exercise a shot. When you wake up, Try to come up with an elaborate story and make it crazy. Make it like a, a superhero story, like a, like a comic book or like some sort of Disney story. And, you know, come up with elaborate characters and different plots and twists. And what you're doing is you're getting out of that lower level brain, that lower level consciousness. And another thing that this has really helped me with is what is called lateral thinking. And... Essentially, with lateral thinking, what I see a lot of people have problems with is running out of things to say 
or just not being very engaging when they are talking with someone. And by really working on your creative process, on your imagination, your lateral thinking will just completely improve and you'll realize that when you're talking to people, you're gonna be much more engaging, you'll be a lot funnier, you'll be a great storyteller, and you just ultimately will have a much kind of higher level of charisma as well as just kind of be much, a lot wittier and come up with a lot better things to say. So I, I really think that, you know, using this, this process is, you know, pretty incredible. And another thing that's cool is that when you're really good at using your imagination, you basically are never bored because now, again, you don't want to do this all the time because then you're just like daydreaming all the time. You're just like a spaced out head, you know? You wanna have times where you are exercising your creativity. Of course, you also wanna have times where you're very analytical and logical. And like I always say, it, it's, you wanna be able to flip a switch and be able to do one, then you flip the next one on, then you can do something else and then do something else. But by isolating this and really practicing and working on it, you'll be able to train yourself to flip on this creative switch. And, you know, again, one more thing with lateral thinking is that most people, they're just so boring. And it's like, when you look at little kids, they're so good at using their imagination and creativity. And, but of course, they lack the logic and the analytical skills. So what ends up happening is as kids grow, they lose the creativity and they get, you know, as we're now adults, the, the analytical, logical brain. Well, we're trying to bring back some of that kind of neuroplastic, creative uh, thought and balance it, right? It's all about that balance. So try to also think about when you are being dominated by your biological processes. How much time do you think, what percentage of your day is consumed by I'm hungry and I'm horny and I'm sleepy and all these things that are probably just that low level refrigerator hum in your mind all the time. And if you're like me, when I started breaking down and analyzing, I'm like, wow, like probably like 70, 80% of my thoughts or more are just these basic things like what am I gonna eat next? Or when am I gonna take a nap? And it's just like, you can never break through and really create a great business or a great dating life or have great expression if all those, uh, you, you know, your whole energy and day is built um, around these, you know, type of low level thinking. So that is the, uh, there's some sort of bird somewhere over here, so we're gonna hop around here. Um, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's like a bird chirping in there. I think there's like a bird in the wall or something anyway. Um, anyway, we're in the midst of this crazy snowstorm. If you can't see, let me turn around so you can see it. And uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up here because it is uh, getting snowy and there's like a bird that's in the wall trapped over here, which is like squawking. But anyway, just to wrap up, biological processes, you can't completely get rid of them, but you need to start realizing where they're completely dominating your life and then try out going back and using your imagination, similar to when you were a little kid, and it's gonna really help you with your lateral thinking, your creativity, your storytelling, your humor, building better relationships, all these elements in your life, and it'll help you to really take action because our society is just completely built around eat this food, feel good, play these video games, these low level types of thinking. And in order to really excel, and like I always say, to build a better world and that, that next generation, right? You want each generation climbing up and getting better and better. You gotta break through these low level types of thinking and the biological processes that are likely completely running your life and you don't even realize it. So give that a shot. I'll be back very soon. I'm gonna go jump around in the snow and like always, Great talking to you guys. I am out.